Hi, I'm Mr. Ungert here with a potential type problem that you might find on your Praxis uh, high school math test 5161. Um, so we have this picture above that I drew and I tried to roughly get each of these sections equal. Um, but anyways, um, so here's the question. Uh, you have 2,000 meters of fencing and you want to make three sections of spectrum above. What is the total maximum area you can have? Well, area is width times height. Okay, so each of these is a height, and we're going to have to use some of the fencing for each of these. And the total uh, amount of fencing we have is 2,000. So for the, the two widths here, we're going to have 2,000 minus 4H. So this here is going to be 1,000 minus 2H. So our area is going to be the height. Or width times height, it doesn't really matter. We can do um, height times width also. So the height times the width, which is 1000 minus 2h. Um, so if I work this out, it becomes 1000. H and it's 2H squared. Okay, now the the graph, if I were going to graph this function, it would, it would look something like this. If you remember from calculus, the um, way to find the maximum area is we take the, the derivative of this. When the derivative equals zero, or the tangent line, uh, the slope equals zero, we're going to have the maximum. So I'm going to take the derivative with respect to h, and say the derivative, using the power rule, is going to be 1,000 uh, and then we're going to drop this by power. So times two is going to be four. So it's going to be 1,000 minus 4H. Remember, we're going to reach the maximum when the derivative is zero. So uh, when zero equals 100, or, oops, sorry, 1,000 minus 4H. Um, you know, that's you're going to have the maximum. So in this case, H would equal 250. So that's going to give you the maximum area. So now I've got that. I'm going to take this value and plug it back into here and here and the maximum area. So the area, or the max area is going to be 250. times 1,000 minus 2 times, 2 times 250 is 500, so 1,000 minus 500. Uh, so that's going to be 250 times 500. Oh, that's going to be, when I work that out, it's going to be 125,000. I believe I was using this made-up problem that I made in meters. Uh, yep, meters. So 
area, so it's going to be meters. 125,000 meters squared is your solution. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments in the comments below. Um, also check out some of my math stuff on my website. Uh, I'll leave links to those in the description. And also if you're interested in getting worksheets from Teacher Pay Teachers, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.